Great Shift. Oh, the Great Shift. Now, October is going to be a big month uh, for Bitcoin. Uh, you can do your research. You can figure it out. You can see why uh, October is a big month. Now, beyond that, let's talk global. All right. Remember I told you that the landscape, the financial landscape is very, very delicate right now. I told you about what's going on with the banks, the civil war with uh, big banks, small banks, the Federal Reserve, central banks. Uh, we got central bank digital currencies. Some some like them, some don't. You got to throw in uh, Bitcoin there. You got to throw in other altcoins. And there's a whole bunch of things happening. You see what's taking place in Venezuela. Uh, you see what's going on with China, U.S., Hong Kong. Uh, but there's something that can just tip over everything. And again, listen to me. The financial landscape is very, very delicate. This foundation, this system that we are in right now, throw in the U.S. Uh, elections 2020. Uh, there's so many things uh, that are indicating uh, to buckle up. Remember, I've been telling you about this great shift. It's going to be violent. It's going to be turbulent. Uh, ultimately, it's going to bring a lot of uh, funds or capital into safe havens. Now, we're talking about this great shift, the digital world, uh, and the digital world is part of this great shift. Now, let me get to it. October 31st, 2019, Brexit. October 31st, 2019, Brexit. Now, why is that date significant, October 31st, 2019? Because that's the day that the United Kingdom will be exiting the European Union. Now, what does this mean? This means that this is the beginning of the end for the European Union. Now, before I begin to explain why this is the beginning of the end for the European Union, let me just tell you the ramifications of what are going to take place in the financial markets, uh, let's say November, December, if this was to actually take place and all indicators are pointing that the United Kingdom is exiting the European Union. And you even feel the heat uh, towards the end of the middle, late of September, early October, all through October, you'll start seeing the fear, uncertainty, start shaking up uh, the financial markets. You're going to see a lot of news. You're going to see a lot more uh, press about this. And this is going to just bring out a lot of fear. Now, we're still talking about the ramifications, but in this type of event, this is going to be felt globally. All right. Remember, we're talking about the great shift and there's going to be winners and there's going to be losers. The ones that are prepared, they're going to take advantage. The ones that are not prepared are going to be at the mercy of those who are prepared and who are taking advantage. Now, if you remember, in the beginning of this message, I was talking about that there's going to be a lot of funds coming into safe havens. Uh, these safe havens, uh, remember, we're in a digital world. Uh, yes, you should see precious metals. But I believe there's going to be a huge amount of money coming in to cryptocurrencies, specifically Bitcoin, and we should see major volume for Bitcoin and other digital assets. So in discussing about the ramifications and consequences of this actually taking place, and again, all indicators are pointing that this will happen, United Kingdom exiting the European Union, um, the ramifications are going to be felt globally and I believe we're going to see a lot of money coming into safe havens, all right, gold, uh, but I specifically believe that Bitcoin and other legitimate cryptocurrencies are going to enjoy a great chunk of those funds that are exiting from the standard financial markets. Now, sticking with cryptocurrencies, sticking to Bitcoin and other legitimate cryptocurrencies, you got to understand that this is not going to happen all at once. Don't expect if, remember, uh, and all indicators are suggesting or pointing that the United Kingdom will exit the Euro European Union. Um, so if this actually does take place, don't expect all this money all at once. Expect it in cycles. Expect it in waves. And we must keep in mind what's coming in 2020. And we've seen the past of what happens every four years with Bitcoin. The halving, right? We've seen what's happened. Bitcoin takes off, then there's dips and altcoins take off and we see this bull market continue to flow. Now, understanding all this and looking at this from a wide and global perspective. And remember, look at what BACT is doing, RSX, Coinbase and other exchanges preparing for this moment, this 2020, 2021 moment. I believe this 2020, 2021 cryptocurrency bull market should be a massive and keyword great global event now in saying that if you're one of those who are betting against bitcoin and other legitimate cryptocurrencies then i honestly believe you're going to be on the losing side of this specifically for 2020 and 2021 now i've been on the record of saying that in 2022 the cryptocurrency market will again hit a bear market and it will be a big correction probably drop from the highs 85 percent 
and then that will be the lows, that will be the bottom. And I believe, again, uh, late to middle or middle to late 2022 will be a great time to buy cryptocurrencies. That's just my humble opinion. That's not financial advice, but that's what I expect to happen. But I believe the 2020, 2021 cryptocurrency bull market will be a massive and great global event. Now, as I promised earlier, why would the United Kingdom exiting the European Union be the beginning of the end for the European Union? And why would this cause a global shakeup for all standard financial markets? Well, I'll answer the easy question first, which is the second question, and the answer is London. London is known globally and is a financial powerhouse. You better believe that London will cause a global turbulent shakeup. Hence, the great shift. Hence, funds leaving global financial markets into global safe havens. Digital age, there's a digital safe haven. There's a digital store of value. There's a new gold, a digital gold, and the name is Bitcoin. And this will ultimately be bullish for the whole cryptocurrency market. Now, before I continue to go on and on and on, I have to find a way somehow to close this message. So the first question, why would this be the beginning of the end? And we'll close here. Why would this be the beginning of the end for the European Union? Well, because the UK is the fourth major contributor to the European Union. First is Germany, second France, Italy, then the United Kingdom. So you take out one of the major horses, which is the United Kingdom, then that means that weight that the United Kingdom was carrying and contributing to the European Union will now be shifted onto Germany, which is the top contributor to the European Union, France, the second top contributor to the European Union, then Italy, the third. How long do you think, using common sense and productive knowledge, how long do you think they will stay in the European Union? Not too long. Not too long, my friends. Buckle up, because this could get really bumpy. Are you ready for the great shift? Things are about to change.